Hi and welcome. This is me just trying to get Wally settled. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how I could start this video with him wanting to be in my lap. Welcome. If you're new to my videos, this is my dog Wallowitz. He is a Dachshund Jack Russell Terrier mix. He is my buddy. <laughs> he also jingles, barks, growls at the cats. Uh, yes, we're back to colder weather, so I've got my sweatshirt on, so I will be tugging at it periodically. But welcome. I'm actually doing well today. Been out in the garden. I brought in some tomatoes. Uh, yeah, life is good here in upstate New York. Uh, I've read quite a few books this month, and it's amazing how many murder mysteries are situated in upstate New York. <laughs> yeah, it kind of gives you pause. It's like the great mysterious beyond. Uh, anyway, I thought I would come and update you on my last few days of progress in September. As you know, I'm continuing that arbitrary August vibe. I'm working on a different project every two days this month instead of every other day. And uh, I've been having fun. I have a few clips set up that uh, I will show you because I've been doing a every other day video vlog uh, showing my pieces and my progress. So um, why don't we do that right now? Uh, hang on. Watch the clips, and I will be back on the other side. Be right back. Ah, Wally! Hi, and welcome to September 4th. I think that September is going to be a month that goes pretty quickly. At least, it is here in this house. Um, I've worked on BB-8 for two days, September 2nd and 3rd, and I've made some fairly good progress. Uh, I've said he has some blended threads, and this is a blended thread. This is actually 762 and 3865, so kind of shades of white there. And as you can see, he's looking more like BB-8, and I'm really liking this. So he's going away for a little while. And the next piece that I work on, okay. Wally said hello. Um, so for today, September 4th, I'm going to be working on, well, September 4th and 5th, I'm going to work on the Prairie Schooler, which is Double Double. And this is the one that the coffee dyed and tea stained and watercolored, and then I've got the cauldron in, so I don't know what I'll work on today, but it'll be something, something in there. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if I have enough room on this piece of fabric. I'm not sure. I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to work on today. And I had mentioned in my uh, last Floss Tube video for my wrap-up that I was also going to be working on an ornament cell this month. And I just got the invitation yesterday from the Facebook group for the September sale. So that gave me incentive to find my Christmas 2017 magazine. And the pieces in here are the other ornaments that I've done for this sale. Uh, nowhere have I done near the number of ornaments for this year. I've done like three, I think. This year's, or this month, excuse me, this month's ornament is this Believe one by Primrose Studios. And it is uh, on page 67 of the 2017 Just Cross Stitch magazine. And if you are interested in this Facebook group, it's, um, I think it is Just Cross Stitch, JCS, uh, 
Orny. Monthly Orny group. I have to look it up. I will try to remember when I do my wrap up to put it in the description box. No promises. My brain is faulty at best when it comes to remembering to do these things. Even when I write them down. Go figure. Um, anyway. I uh, found the magazine, so I'm also going to be working on this piece. But I'm not sure exactly when. We'll figure that out, too. So, until the day after tomorrow. Hi, and welcome to September 6th. Uh, yeah, September is just flying by. I don't know what is happening with my days, but it's amazing. So anyway, the 4th and the 5th, I was scheduled in my random number generator to work on the Prairie Schooler Double Double, which I've had as a whip since October of last year. And uh, it's really fun, and I enjoy it. And in case you don't know your William Shakespeare, this is from Macbeth. And it's double, double, toil and trouble. Eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. <laughs> a little bit scary, yes? Anyway, I have been working on this. And I was enjoying it. It's on a piece of 14 count Ada uh, that I coffee dyed and then watercolored. And this is my progress. I got the rest of the cauldron. Well, I think I had the cauldron done. I got the witch's shoes in and the mound that they're standing on and the cat and a snake and the tail of a newt. And then I'm coming around the border some. And there is more of a border out here, and I think another border. Nope, that's it. That is it. Thank goodness. I'm enjoying it. The color palette for this is 3023, which is a brownie gray. Uh, 3371, which I just bought a cone of. So that's a good thing. And 920, which is like a burnt pumpkin color. Very pretty. And as you can see, pretty much all I've gotten in so far is some 3371. And these are gold and red beads that I put in for the flame. So, I've enjoyed this and I will probably stitch on it again. I'm sure it will come back up. And for now, I'm going to put this away. Now, I didn't just work on this prairie schooler because I find if I focus on one thing for too long I lose the urge to stitch. I'll move on to other things and uh, well that's not really a bad thing it's you know when you want to stitch it's nice to just stick with it. So I also started and I said I would be the Just Cross Stitch 2017 uh, holiday issue there is a Facebook group, Just Cross Stitch Orny, and uh, uh, mediated by Joanne, and uh, it's really a great group. I don't use social media as much as I should. I wish that I did, but oh well, that is the way it is. Let's see, I'm going to try to show you this without showing you the pattern, and this is it down here. Let me see if I can tighten it on it at all. Yeah. So it's this chart. And I will show you how far I've gotten on this. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm doing this on 30 count um, linen by Weeks Dye Works. And this color is Seafoam. And I've started putting in the um, flowers or the pine boughs around the outer border. But uh, I don't have a floss color 501, so, and I can't find one that I like in its place, so I may have to go get that. Uh, but yeah, it's really beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. And I did post a picture 
to the Facebook group today or yesterday, I'm not sure which. So I was pretty proud of myself for that. Yeah? That's why I back out a little. Um, so I will be working more on that this month because this is a monthly sale. So I will get back to that. And then I've also been working on another monthly sale, which is my Guardians of, of Notre Dame by Ingleside Imaginarium on uh, Etsy. And I've been putting in 931, which is blue. And I've kind of completed most of the window frame. I still have to do some of the uh, beaded bubble there at the upper edge. But I'm enjoying it, and you can see my needle minder Wally so he's doing a good job watching my needle and you can hear my dogs are getting agitated because I think my granddaughter just came home from college or it's the mailman delivering mail the mail person because my mail carrier is a woman so anyway I will let you go and I will see you again tomorrow or the day after sorry tomorrow. I'm back I forgot to tell you what I would be working on for the next two days I let the dogs distract me. Uh, I'm going to be working on Why is Men Still Seek Him? Which is a Lizzie Kate snippet. And that's what it looks like. And I've actually got most of this done. Um, and that's what it looks like. I have to do the halo on baby Jesus. And I think that's about all. Oh no, there's some crowns down at the bottom. I have to do these crowns. Um, so I may finish this. And since I have it for two days, I may start it again for myself. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. I'll see you in a couple of days and you'll see if I finished it. Hi. And I thought I would come back. This is September 7th, and I'm not scheduled to do a vlog post for today, but hey, I just finished my lunch, and I thought I would show you that I just came back from Bat and Kill Stitchery. Yes, yes I did. I was bad. I was very, very bad. Oh well, would you like to see what I got? I'm going to show you anyway, because that's how I am. Oh, let's see. I went with a list of flosses that I wanted, and if you hear growling, it's because little, I call him me, to, me you, um, my granddaughter named him Gizmo. Let me go get him. He's bugging um, extra, quite a bit. I'll be right back. Hey, you. There you go. This is the new family pest. His name is Gizmo. He's my granddaughter Jacqueline's kitten. Um, I call him me you because that's all he says constantly is me you. Right now he's trying to get down so he can go bug the older cats and Wally because yes he bugs everybody you should see my knees where he's uh, jumped up on my legs anyway I went to the store with a list of floss colors both DMC and general art sampler threads yes and I came away with everything else but I also got my my list and what's in this bag are the threads that were on my list and I don't have a lot of uh, gentle arts or those the over dyed flosses but these are the colors that I got I can't even remember what I was going to do with them. I will figure that out. 
And then these are the floss colors that I had looked for for previous projects that I was working on and couldn't find. So I had to work around them. So now I have them and I can go back and work with them. Um, right now I'm wondering if I have... Huh. <laughs> and I still didn't get 501, but that's okay because... I had substituted 3312 for the oh 3362 for that color in whatever project it was. I think it was the Believe Just Cross Stitch Christmas ornament that I was working on because I came to a spot where uh, I couldn't get along without it any anymore. So anyway, those are those threads. And then I bought, I'll take it out of the bag for you, so there's maybe not glare. It's a kind of a hazy, overcast, cloudy day today, but the temperature's down to like 77, so I'm a happy girl. This is what I bought. One of the things I bought anyway was heartstring samplers, his eyes on the sparrow. I just think that that is beautiful. And while I was there, since I was at the LNS, I completely kitted this up so I can start this anytime I want. So here are the Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Art Sampler Threads that his eyes on the sparrow calls for. And no, I didn't duplicate because there was a couple of colors like Bayberry and uh, I don't know, another color that I had already had in my list. I love Brethren Blue. And for some reason, I think I have Brethren Blue, but oh well. So that is for his eyes on the sparrow. And to do that, and I also bought the linen. I bought a 28 count linen. It's Sandcastle. It's 18 by 26. And it's Witchelt linen, which doesn't thrill me. But I like this color. And I think that you can see that it's somewhat modeled with kind of rosy brown, I guess, is how I would. Rosy beige, ecru, rosy ecru, beige. And it's an 18 by 26 inch piece. And I think this comes out to be something like 17 by 20, maybe. It's a big one. So anyway, I got that. And you can see um, my LNS had these in the Witchell Imports uh, hand dyed linen envelope. So yep. I got myself some 28 count linen. I'm going to do this probably two over one or one over one. I haven't quite, I haven't quite decided about that. We shall see what we shall see. And not to be outdone because even though I went to the LNS, I can't just do one chart. And she's going to email me when she gets Apostles Creed in by Heartstring, Sam, Heart, Heartstring Samplery, which is what I went looking for. And also the Christmas issue of the Just Cross, Cross Stitch ornaments for 2018. So I'm waiting for those. But I figured since I was doing Fragments in Time number 8, I would pick up Fragments in Time number 7. And I picked up two mirrors. I picked up a Nora Corbett. Well, so it's not a mirror. It's a Nora Corbett. And it is the coffee house. Because I like the colors. And it has, believe it or not, four colors of Krennic in it. And I have 032. But I picked up the other three Krennics that it calls for and the Karen Water Lilies. So, 
yeah, very pretty. And I also, creaking door, and it was Wally coming in. And just in case you're wondering, Gizmo's still here. Um, Mirabilia, Mirabilia, gathering eggs. I just think that she is beautiful. So I picked her up. And she just has a glass seed bead. So other than that, I think she's all DMC. She actually has a couple blended threads, but I just think she is beautiful. So that was my LNS Bat and Kill Stitchery in Vermont. That's my haul for today. Threads. Threads, lots of threads. Four charts and a thing of linen. Yep. Blew out the budget today, but that's okay. Can't always be common sense, I guess. And I thought I would show you now, since I said I would, didn't have the picture up here before. Sorry. Jiggle the camera a little bit. I also, during the Labor Day sale on Heaven and Earth Designs, I had also bought another Heaven and Earth Designs. This is a quick stitch called Sweet Bunny. And its artwork is by Charlotte Bird. And that's what that looks like. And I just couldn't pass that up. I just think she is adorable. So, I got that. I'm looking forward to that. Pretty soon I'll just have to just start it off. Imagine that. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome to Saturday, September 8th. And it's another vlog post uh, for my September floss tube. And for uh, the last two days, I've been working on a Lizzie Kate snippet called Wise Men Still Seek Him. And let's see. I actually finished it. So I have a finish. Yay. Um, and that's what that looks like. I got the baby Jesus's crown in and put the crowns and the diamonds at the bottom and I really love that and I like it so much that while I was waiting today for about an hour for my granddaughter I started my second piece so I have still in so far and I have a piece of um, paper towel roll that I just have some wax paper taped around and I'm just rolling these on here to keep them um, while I'm working on them. So that was a lot of fun and I did get a finish out of it so I was very happy with that. And I've also worked on my Just Cross Stitch 2017 Christmas Ornament Sale. That's a Facebook group. Um, and I actually worked on Believe, which is the September ornament, and this is as far as I've gotten with that. I'm having a good time with it. Uh, I did substitute this second green color. I didn't have 501, so I substituted a different green, somewhere up in the 3000s. So that's coming along well. And I also went back and I finished March's ornament, which was very merry. And I will show you that one. And I even put some beads in it. Um, it didn't call for beads, but I thought beads were warranted. And that's, let me see if I can turn on another light and see if it helps. I thought the beads might be warranted. So there's some green beads here and some like yellow green glass beads here. Well, these are glass too, but these are opaque and these are clear. And then I put some gold beads in, in the flower urn. And I really like that, that is really sweet. So 
that was another finish. So in the last two days, I've actually had two very small finishes. Well, not very small, but ornament size finishes. I think um, Wise Men Still Seek Him is going to be a flat fold. And I will probably use Vanna's tutorial for that. Although I've done a flat fold before. It's been a while. So those were those stitches. And then I also, last night, worked on my Wise Men, the custom crafts design that has a lot of yellow in it. And that's what that will look like when it's done. Of course, it's a long ways from done. But I made some more progress on it. And oh, that the frame better. That's what that looks like. So pretty much I've been filling in the columns that I've been working on. And this is the far side of page one. Page one isn't a full size page because this is actually part of page hmm, five or six, I think. I can't remember which page. Anyway, this will be a pattern that I can't pass on because I am actually coloring in the boxes as I complete them. Just makes it easier. Okay, that's part of page five. And that's custom crafts. And that's pretty cool. Yesterday when I was at my LNS, the Bat and Kill Stitchery, it's 25 miles away, but it's as local as my needle workshop is going to get. <laughs> anyway, I saw one that was a, a moose call. It was a big moose coming out of the woods. And that was really tempting, but I decided to pass on it. Uh, and I worked on this one, and I'm really enjoying it. And then for today and tomorrow, my scheduled piece is a Prairie Schooler Santa. Um, it's 2011. And that's the one. He's got the snowshoes and the cardinal. And um, I think that's what it, this is the right way. And I'm just using, doing this on a piece of oatmeal Ada. So I'm enjoying that. And so that's about my catch up for today. I've actually just gotten back from my granddaughter's five hour course. And to kill time, <laughs> I made the mistake of going into AC more. And I have two bags full of. Um, <laughs> well, that isn't all stitching. Some of it's dyes. And there is yarn. And clay. And more yarn and more yarn. And some Halloween lights. And I bought these two skeins. Um, this is uh, Stitch Studio by New Vale, and this is um, this is interesting because it's not fully. <sighs> it's a hand dyed look that makes gorgeous garments, and it says enjoying. Enjoy and inspire with every stitch. Find projects in everything. And it says that this is 45% acrylic, 45% polyester, and 10% wool. And it's about 92 yards. And um, you can wash it, of course. Um, but it's very interesting because it has a very wooly um, look to it. Even though it's only 10% wool, I don't think it's like fully plied. It's kind of loose. So it's going to be really interesting. And I just loved this color wave. So that's what I got. I got two skeins of that. Um, I'm more, I crochet more than I knit. 
but uh, we'll see what happens. So I got those to make either a scarf or something, and then I got, they had these cakes of yarn on clearance, and these are called Candy Shop, and that's really pretty. I really liked that colorway, so I bought all four of these. They were $3 a piece, and they're um, 140 grams, 260 yards, so which is 238 meters. So I got four of these, and I thought they might make kind of nice slippers and maybe either a vest or a shawl. So we'll see what happens with that. And then I got this Parfait, which is a premier yarn. And it kind of feels like velour or velvet. It's very soft, like a really soft chenille, I suppose, is a better description. Um, you can kind of see it here. Anyway, I got this gray one, and then I had this, this toppy color one, taupey color one, and then a rose kind of taupey. And I thought I'd make a ripple afghan for my daughter, Rebecca, for Christmas, because it'll be nice and warm and soft. And then the main reason that I actually went into AC more, and I'm sorry that I'm going fast, but I'm kind of trying to get through this because I still have a lot to do today and it's already mid-afternoon. But the real reason that I went into AC Moore was to buy three fall placemats, autumn placemats anyway. So I, I liked, let me widen this out. I liked this one especially to maybe be the front. It has a clock and a sunflower and leaves and a pumpkin field and more leaves. It's really pretty. I think this is like autumn. This just says autumn. And then there's a harvest one with a turkey and a farm and an orchard and more pumpkins, which I thought was really pretty. And then there's just this really bright maple leaf one. So, and these were a dollar a piece. So what I'm gonna do is take the three of these and sew them into another project bag to hold a, you know several projects so that was the main reason I went in there um, and it turned into a lot of other things I did buy some DMC because today they had 20% off your full and sale purchase so the price so this was good I just bought some floss and I did buy Two skeins of 501, which I was missing to work on my Believe piece. So, all in all, it was a pretty expensive day waiting for my granddaughter, but I don't do it very often, so I got to give myself permission every now and then. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in a couple of days. <sighs> Take care. I've been trying to get Wally to get down, but he wants to sit in my lap because extra sitting back on the window seat so on the pillow that Wally usually lays on when I'm up here so he's decided he needs to sit in my lap today so we'll see how long this lasts anyway I got quite a bit done I bought my share of haul I guess I wanted to do a poll uh, on Instagram I've never done one. This would have been my first ever poll. And it would have been a poll as to which of these Mirabilia is to start on 9-11. Um, it's an American tragedy um, that we uh, memorialize. And that was the terrorist attacks on American soil using American... Uh, airplane lines filled with passengers to do damage on American soil. Um, it was a very sad time for Americans and the world alike. And it has a beautiful monument in New York City. Uh, it was only down there when they were actually digging it at the site of the attacks when the Twin Towers went down. Um, 
but I've seen pictures of it and my son has shown it to me uh, online so yeah anyway tomorrow is that day it happened on September 11th uh, 2001 and uh, it was very sad yep all I can say about that but so anyway I was going to do a poll as to whether I should start the Lady of the Flag or the Queen of Freedom but my Bush Mountain Stitchery order has not come that has my fabric in it so unless it comes today which I don't think it's going to I think they're waiting for roll of frame stuff um, I can't do the poll because I won't be able to start these uh, I bought a piece of Constitution fabric I mean, I lean, I'm leaning towards the Queen of Freedom because, just because. Although I do love Lady of the Flag. I intend to stitch them both, but I was going to start with the Queen of Freedom. But I thought I would pull, do a poll and see which one you guys think I should start first. Um, Queen of Freedom, I don't have the, um, the beads, bead pack for. But I do have the bead pack for the Lady of the Flag. And uh, who knows, I might be able to figure that out for both of them. But anyway, if you have an opinion as to which one I should start first when my fabric comes, please uh, enter your thoughts or ideas in the comment bar below. Uh, yeah. I think that would have been fun, but anyway, it's all right. I will start it when I can. So I left off with my clips working on um, the 2011 Prairie Schooler Santa, and that's what he looks like. And this pattern calls for his beard and snowballs and that piece of snow down here to be done in ecru. And I didn't, I'm thinking, I don't want Santa's beard to be ecru on kind of ecru fabric. So that's the only change I made. And this is where I am so far with the Prairie Schooler Santa. If you remember, I had just some of the, the red done in his body and maybe one leg a little bit. So that's where I ended yesterday. So I got a pretty good chunk of him done. And I will pick him up again and... Who knows, if I get a chance, maybe he'll be done before Christmas. That would be fun. And today is part of the same uh, segment that uh, my last few days were in. And so today I'm going to be working on this artwork by Scott Gustafson. And it's uh, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and it's Marching Mice. But I'm only doing Theodore for now. He is my marching mouse of choice for my late husband, Ted. Theodore Reynolds Bell. He played the double bell euphonium in the Cambridge uh, Fireman's Band. It's the oldest continuous marching band in the United States. And he was very proud of his participation in that band and pretty much the whole Bell family marched, marched and, may, and still marches in that band. His brother Peter, his brother Bruce, his brother Rob, his um, sons Aaron and Andrew. Uh, yeah, the Bells uh, played a large play, a large role in the Cambridge marching band. I believe his brother Alan marched in that band too. So anyway, that marching mouse is what I will be working on today. And I, that's a pattern with no background because I'm just going to do, oh, I didn't tell you what fabric. Hang on. Wow, you make this very difficult. Let's see what fabric did I pull for that. I don't know if I've got it written down. This looks like a piece of, uh, Is that color and cotton? Did I write it down? Oh, yeah. 
I did. I showed this the last time. This is color in cotton, and it's 18 count. Ada in the color Bluebird. And it's just gorgeous fabric, and that's where I am. <laughs> I have that little teeny tiny bit of Theodore done. Now, the pattern doesn't call him Theodore. This is just marching mice, but to me, he's Theodore, and that's what I'm working on. That's today and tomorrow. So, let me pull these over here. Excuse me just one moment. While I try to get everything over here. And pick up the piece I dropped. So let's see if you can still see Wally. And extra. Ah, okay. And I will show you the, excuse me, and Gizmo is also laying here on the footstool by my chair. So, yeah, I kind of have a full house today. It's cold. Everybody wants to snuggle. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I know. Cross stitch, not animals. Although animals and cross stitch seem to go together. All right, so for tomorrow, let me get my list. For tomorrow, my project will be, yeah, not tomorrow, day after tomorrow, for the two days after. And it'll be confusing, so I probably won't say this, but I'll be working on each of these projects for two consecutive days. So it's Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs. And for that, I'm using, I had started this, with substitutions for all of the classic color works, is it? The called for fabric, fibers, general arts. So then I went and I bought the general arts fibers to see if I liked it better. Because this so far is with DMC. And this may be a restart or I may just continue on and see how it looks. But I just have that little bit of submarine done. And I'm sorry, it's really overcast here, and I have three lights on. And, uh, yeah, still a little bit overcast in here. So there's that, Hello Submarine. And this is on, what is this on? This is also a piece of color in cotton. This is... Oh, Oasis, and this is 16 count Ada, color and cotton. Let me hold that up again. And it has a little bit of modeling in it. It's really pretty fabric. And I really like that color. So it's Yellow Submarine. And then after Yellow Submarine is Vixen. So we got a little bit of Christmas in this week too. Vixen is a mirror as a Nora Corbett design and she's part of the Christmas Eve Couriers and I started this in July in honor of our pitbull vixen who um, passed away from cancer and I've done Rudolph and then this is where I stand on if I can figure it out. Oh, that's where I stand on Vixen. And this is uh, opalescent white Ada that I dyed myself in shades of purple and blue. And I'm doing all of my pieces on this. And I've shown Rudolph before. Um, he's I did him two over four, and Vixen I'm doing over two, two over two. So Vixen is going to be smaller than Rudolph. And I had started Vixen on a very small square of fabric, and uh, if time permits, I may just do like a, a silhouette portrait. Not sure. I make it an ornament of just the bust of Vixen. 
I've not quite decided on that yet. And this is a project where I have a little box of floss separated out for the piece, and it's actually the box I started with Rudolph. So it has, um, it's just one of those little dollar pencil boxes, and it's just got all the glasses that I've been using so far on Christmas Eve couriers. Now Christmas Eve couriers is also a Facebook group so if you are doing any of the Christmas Eve couriers uh, you can check that Facebook group out. There's a lot of beautiful finishes. There's several people who have done the whole series and it's really a beautiful thing to look at. So after Vixen, I'm going to be working on Jabbar. Now I did work on Jabbar in Arbitrary August, but I wanted to put him in this mix because he's my own pattern, my own chart of my cat Jabbar, and I just I want to try to finish him. So that's what Jabbar looks like so far. And that's what my enlarged... Um, Uh, scan chart of his uh, picture looks like. So we'll be working on Jabbar. Who knows? Maybe I will get to finish him. I'm hoping. And then last but not least, for, oh no, not last. Alright, next to last is a Mill Hill kit and it is a spring bouquet and it's a sheep egg and I have a mistake in this that I need to correct and I may do a video clip showing me making those corrections um, I thought somebody might like to see how I'm gonna fix that but that's what I have done so far and these extra black beads in his white little body or my mistake because I was watching a movie and I wasn't paying attention to the symbols because there are similar symbols and there's ju it just goes between a larger and a smaller bead and there's not a big difference in bead size because I find Mill Hill seed beads unfriendly I guess to work with I much prefer Choho's Mayuki and delicas. Okay, now last but not least in this next segment coming up is uh, another prairie schooler and it is the Barnyard Christmas and I am working on the cat over here. Pardon the glare. Uh, and this is how much I have done on the cat. And I had started that in Mania. So I will be working on that for a couple of days. And I don't know. Depends how much stitching time I get. Um, maybe I can finish it. I don't know. And then that will be it for my next segment and I will still try to do the every other day video vlogs um, I really don't have a lot more to talk about the weather's cooling off so I'm a pretty happy person uh, I don't think my grandchildren are that happy about it because I haven't turned the heat on yet either and I don't intend to unless it gets really bad before maybe mid-October, I hope. Uh, I live in the country so I have, uh, I use uh, home heating oil to fuel my furnace and this old house takes a lot of oil. So I use as little as I possibly can. Uh, layers. Kind of like Shrek. We are layers. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you for joining me. I hope that all your days are colorful and happy and that you get to do all the stitching that you would love to. So anyway, from me and Wally, an extra, and uh, lean down here and pick him up. He was sleeping again. And Gizmo, we say, happy stitching. <laughs> Bye for now. God bless.